The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. So for the sixth time, the Rangers boys basketball team makes it to the state championship game. And just like the previous five, they come up just short of that elusive title. Like I told these guys right from the beginning, I said, put forth the effort, we'll take the results. And uh, they did not disappoint because I thought their effort tonight was outstanding. And we came up a little bit short. When that happens, sometimes you got to look at your opponent and uh, tip your hat to them. In their first state tourney, CI's four seniors were pushed to their limits with three of them playing the entire 36-minute game. When you're out there, you know, the adrenaline's going. You're not really thinking about it. You're just trying to do your part for the team. And, uh, you know, we have the rest of our lives to recover. So we, we said just leave it all out there. But they say it was an experience they'll never forget. You know, this is exactly where we wanted to end up, where we thought we belonged. And, um, you know, it's an incredible experience. This is exactly what we could have you know, this is anything we could have asked for from our senior year. We weren't even the number one seed in our section. I think we uh, we definitely proved that we can play with the best of them. But not only to come down here, but to uh, make it to the championship game and uh, you know play the number one team right until the end. Uh, it's something we'll definitely remember forever. And while the team will no doubt miss those four seniors, head coach David Galovich says he hopes the younger players, despite not getting much playing time, can learn from this season and this state tournament. Now it's their turn, you know, and now the freshmen and sophomores will be uh, sophomores and juniors, and it's their time to step up. And these guys did it, you know, about three years ago, and uh, that's high school ball. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.